it's Barb coming to you from my craft studio. I have a haul to share. I went to Dollar Tree, Target, Walmart, okay, um, a local quilting company that's called Lucky Quilt Company, I believe, if I remember right, and I got a totally different order. Oh, and I also went to Michael's. I forgot about the Michael's order. Um, at Dollar Tree, I bought this purple glitter ribbon and this ribbon that's a wired edge. I like the purple edging on that. I think the black is kind of sheer on it. Let's see if I can get that out and show you. Yeah, the black is sheer. I just thought I just thought it was pretty, so I got it. I'm working on some Halloween tags and I was looking for something to do up on the ends of the ribbon. I that black one's probably too wide, but we'll see. Um, Michael's, I bought three hot buy papers. They were 70% off, so $6 a piece. I bought the Autumn Dream one. I like some of the pages in here. I like to use those full size ones as kind of artwork in my craft room. I like to change it out seasonally, so like this one here. So that one gave me a few more fall ones to use. The Iris Lane one, which I've seen people share, and as soon as I've seen a few people share it, I knew I wanted this one. So it was just a matter of finding it at my store. I'm not going to flip through a whole lot, because you've probably seen them all a hundred times. But that one. And then this one I hadn't seen anybody share until after I bought it yesterday. It's the um, Mariska. And I probably mispronounced that. If I did, I'm very sorry. But I like the color combos in it. So that's why I bought that one. I especially like, let's see if I can, was it this one? Yeah, this one. Yeah, black with the blue flowers. I thought that one was really pretty. But anyways, that's why I bought that one. I have a few Halloween ones I want to get. I'm waiting for a really good coupon or a really good sale, though. Um, Walmart. I bought some Gorilla Super Glue. I'm hoping to see if it will glue my Fitbit. My Fitbit charge has fallen apart. I originally bought this in April of 2017. The first one fall, fell apart and stopped taking my charge. And they replaced it. And was that like six or seven months? This one lasted about the same, only it has fallen completely apart. When I contacted them, they said, you're past your year, so all we can do is a 25% discount. I'm like, I can get better than a 25% discount through my husband's place of work every now and then. Normally, the Fitbits are excluded from discounts, but the employee discount works. And every now and then, they'll do a 35% employee discount. It's only a few times a year, so I'd have to wait until they did one, but I can do better than their 25% by waiting and getting it there. So I said, no thanks, but no thanks. I, you know, I didn't really expect them to replace it completely, but I think they should do better than 25% when that's the second one that's fallen apart in just over a year. <laughs> um, I bought this fat quarter at Walmart too. I really, I just thought it was cute. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I bought that one. Um, Dollar Tree, no, Target. I already did Dollar Tree. Target, I bought these spider rings. My store finally had the Halloween fall stuff. Part of it out. They were still working on it, but I bought the spider rings because I will use these in treat bags for my daughter's class and the neighbor kids. I bought some more Halloween pencils for that purpose. I probably only needed one with what I had left, but I decided to go ahead and buy one of each design that I've seen. Um, I might end up then with what I've already got, not having to buy any next year or that, or I'll find some more on sale or on clearance and buy them. Um, that's upside down. Last time they had the one that said family, I didn't buy it and I kind of regretted it. I think I want to sit it. I have a um, gallery like shelf on my wall. My father-in-law made me shelves to sit pictures on 
and I put a lot of family pictures there, so I thought the Lord would be nice to put there with it. So the first one I picked up was broke. My husband goes, you don't want that one. <laughs> so he was worried about that one getting broke on the way home. And then I found these towels. I am not a big pumpkin spice fan, but I did like the towel. And I, you know, my favorite season is pumpkin spice. I like, I like fall. So I'm probably going to make that into a pillow. Possibly this one too for fall. I bought some of the little tombstones. They were also a dollar a piece. The trick or treat. The enter if you dare. And my favorite one was this one. I told you I was sick. <laughs> I just thought that was cute. Um, the local quilt shop. I probably spent more on my fat quarters there, but I supported a local business. So I actually walked uptown and I got my exercise and wore myself out <laughs> and purchased some things from them. I, I knew I had stuff in the mail, so I wanted to go pick that up because I have a P.O. box. So this is um this one was actually a fat eight. So and then I the, the rest of them are fat quarters. Um, the Halloween ones all had black cats on them. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do with them, but I want to play with my Cricut maker and my sewing machine. I'm actually thinking the Halloween ones possibly making a large quilt block and then making that into a pillow. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but I'm not sure. And then one of the groups I'm in is for the Cricut Maker and sewing, and they've been doing different um, quilt blocks for Christmas, so I bought some Christmas quilt block fat quarters. Bought this one with the Christmas trees, this one with the candy canes. I was looking for some at Hobby Lobby and Joanne yesterday. I found one bundle of Halloween fat quarters. It didn't have a price on it. It didn't have a tag even on it. I didn't feel like messing with trying to get them to find the tag so they could ring me out. And so I just skipped it. I probably should have bought that one, but I didn't. And I didn't find any Christmas ones, so, which surprised me. I would have thought there would have been more Halloween and some Christmas. And I bought this one with the holly. This one with the ornaments and lights. This one with the candy with the white background. And I bought another one with the candy with a red background. So I'm gonna I wanna play with my maker, cutting some things out and doing some sewing. I'm hoping to kind of get decent at sewing. I'm if there's a step before beginner, that's what I am. <laughs> and then my total epiphany arrived. Hubby wanted some another barber bag. He's keeping his, um, I've made him envelopes for his APA baseball cards and he's keeping them in barber bag and he said he's going to need at least one more. I actually ordered two of them. She had a special last week that you could get six for 30. So $5 a piece for the buddy bag. So I went ahead and bought six and I got a gal. I needed another brandy because I had, was using these for my large embossing folders, my, um, 12 inch long ones because she's intended for like rulers and I ended up taking it and putting my dowels and some of my um, flower making supplies in it because that stuff was kind of creating a mess. My embossing folders were better laying on the shelf than the dowels and all that were. And then I bought an Irene and I bought a Sue bag. I'm wanting to get at least one of each bag, and I think one of them they've already maybe discontinued, so I'm probably not going to be able to get that one. I think that one was Deanna. She was meant for Cricut cartridges. Some of them I probably won't use them for the intended purpose, but I know I will put them to use for things. I've even used some of them like around the house for other things, so, <laughs> you know, you can use them for all kinds of things. But um, I kind of wanted one for each because a lot of times people in the group will ask, oh, which one would fit, you know, the supply. And I figured if I had the supply, I could kind of check the different bags and see if I could figure out which one would work for it. And like I said, I can always find a use for them for holding different things. Um, I have my Dilutions paints in, I think, an Edna. My heat wave tool is in a 
believe that called Ch Ch Charitha. I've got like my sweet stamp while she's in a, I'm trying to think what that one's name is. Shelly, I believe Shelly's the washi bag. And I've got a Barbara bag that's got some of my odd size washies in it. Some of them that are on like the tape roll and that I bought at um, Dollar Tree. So I have one of those with full of that. And I've got some other ones with things in it too. It's hard to remember what all, all what ones I have or when what's in them. But and I have a few Dubber bags with pens in it. But anyways, that's all that I've got to share. I am waiting on a shipment from FedEx today because I ordered a 12 cube. Um, I ordered the Better Homes and Garden brand from Walmart because I wanted one that was three by four, not for my craft room. I don't have room for my craft room for another one. But they're kind of like the Ikea Calyx ones. But I want it down in my um, dining room because I want to get my cookbooks all organized and on those shelves. And I was going to order the three by four one from Ikea. And I think it was $89 for the shelf and they wanted $79 shipping. So I said no. So I went over to Walmart to see if they happened to carry it in the Better Homes and Garden line because I checked Target and the threshold one doesn't come in that size. They have a 3x3 or a 2x4, but they don't have a 3x4. And I wanted one to be 3x4. So at Walmart I got free shipping and with tax it was like 90 something. It was actually probably cheaper than I would have got at, at Ikea. But And from what I've heard, they're, they're pretty sturdy and very similar to the same size. So I'm waiting for that to come and hoping if it comes early enough, hubby will be willing to put it together tonight so tomorrow I can spend time trying to get my cookbooks organized. I know they won't all fit on one. I, and I go around, how many cookbooks do you have? I have a lot of cookbooks. But I also want to use it maybe if there's room when I get the other one that I want. Um, maybe for some of my supplies for my... Um, KitchenAid or my um, Instant Pot and I'm wanting to get another one too and I'm not sure whether I want a 3x3 three three or a 3x4. I kind of want to measure the space a little bit with one sitting there and I put bins in it for our shoes. I wanted to move them over to the dining room because as you walk in our front door the dining room's right on the side. Right now it's in the living room which is on the other side but I prefer to have it in the dining room right as you walk in. So and use the one in the living room for something else. I also display my um, photo albums downstairs in the living room, so and I need a little bit more room in the ones there, so that if I get the shoes out of the one, that'll give me some more space for that stuff. And anyways, I should wrap it up here. I'm starting to get close to that 15-minute mark. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time.